Welcome back to Control. We need to head to the Ashtray Maze to get there. We gotta go through dimensional research. And to get there, it seems like we have to defeat this big beefy boy. Yeah, it actually went through the planter box. alarm had a beat. Do 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 do. All right, I still need to try going to those places. This doesn't look like a good place to do it from though. I don't remember where else we could get to the fire break from. But there definitely was at least one other place. One that had closer things to drift to. in the painting they weren't before so we're gonna go here aren't we oh we're gonna go to the nookie remember that was the word for cottage it's the finnish word for cottage yep looks like uh they've got a towel around their waist looks like they just visited the zona drinking a beer they look very happy now this boy left said the son of anniki daddy my assistant will keep work in the glove and the house standing Lomil lumps, holiday humps. How can anyone even get out of here while the building's sealed? Let alone go on a holiday. This seemed like fun. Oh shit. Damn, that does so much damage to those melee attacks. Nice. 
So which one am I supposed to get to? Oh, there's nothing on the map. Just follow the vision. Where does the vision point exactly? I don't know, but I could easily go over there and just see if there's anything there. And from there, I could easily get back, so yeah, why not? Please don't be an invisible wall. There isn't. Ah, it just doesn't open for me. Well, I'll gladly try them all. There's another hole over there. Crap. I don't think I can get there. Can I get up high enough to get up there? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Maybe if I start from here? No, that's not high enough. Yeah, I don't think I can get back up. It's nice to just gently float through the air. Actually, it looks like a closed off place. There might not be anything there. That's where we need to go. Yeah, it actually looks like there is nothing there. I'm gonna try every side, see if it opens for me. But we've never been here. I do remember there was a door we couldn't go through on the upper floor of the coolant pumps, I think. I've got three points. I think that's enough for what I wanted next. If only I could remember what I wanted next. What was it? <laughs> A levitation duration, perhaps? I guess that or ground slam damage. Hmm. Yeah, it's your levitation duration. Furnace complaint? Regarding the furnace, why aren't we allowed to burn outdated paperwork in it? Seems like a waste of a perfectly good fire. I'm just trying to save you a few bucks and a lot of sweat. Usually people in suits appreciate that, right? What is the furnace even heating? And who's in charge of it anyway? It's always lit, but I never see anyone tending to it. And the noise it makes, isn't it a little... I don't know... off? I mean, I can't be the only one who hears that weird wheezing or whatever it is. Someone should take a look at that thing. Might be time for a replacement. There is definitely something up with the furnace. That wheezing sound. Yeah, I've heard that. Especially when feeding it stuff. Oh, somebody in the comments, by the way, told me that there are, there are six of those TVs and something does happen when you put them in the fire. It gives you some rare weapon mod or something like that. Some rare mod of some sort. 
which I kind of wish I didn't know that part, but I do like to know that there's apparently six TVs and it does do something. I think I found three of them, so there's a lot more. So satisfying when it hits two of them at the same time. Or I guess technically not at the same time. Back to back. Ah, we're listening to it more. It's about weather. Yeah. Like Seitsaman, uh, Seitsaman toista astetta, that means 17 degrees. Selkeä, that means uh, like clear weather. Uh, pilvista, something like that, means like uh, cloudy. Nyham, 17, selkeä. Selkeä, clear. Yeah. It's weather. You can hear a TV in there. Okay, can we just take a moment to recognize how incredibly beautifully shiny those doorknobs are? They look so beautifully metallic. Oh god. <laughs> I uh, can't shoot. Yeah, I can't shoot in here. I can't use my powers. So, can't blow that up. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. That would hurt. Oh, it wasn't TV, it's just radios. Three of them. Three of them, the law of threes, huh? I don't know if I should use them or see what happens next when I hit this. This room only has two? Minus kaksikymmentä, that means minus twenty degrees, I assume. Helsinki, minus kahdeksantoista, ja Kotka, minus kaksikymmentä. Kotka! They mentioned uh, Helsinki at first, and then they mentioned Kotka. I've been to both those places. Tänään 
Kaaka aluksi Kaakon ja Eteläsuunta. Yöstä alkaen Lounaistuulta, Lounaista Think that was a good thing? Did I get rid of the monster in the first one? Aha. Was it important to use the two radios in the other room? That's how you get in here. I thought there was no way to get here from the outside. There isn't. Wait, just what the fuck is this? Hold on. Take a second to appreciate what these are. Uh, this is like what would normally be around a control point. All those like radars and dishes and reflectors, whatever they are. Except this time they're made out of, I don't know, the janitor's scraps? Those are like wash basins? It's like bleach bottles in the center and... Hoses going from them, held up with brooms? Fascinating. Ah, oh, these quite resourceful. Albany Summary. A response team was dispatched to a possible altered world event in progress at... Albany. At the scene, the team encountered and retrieved a... I still never know if that's an I or a L or what, AI-63? Um, the Bureau had discovered numerous online message boards regarding loud noises coming from an abandoned shipping warehouse belonging to the corporation. Local law enforcement had discovered numerous bodies in various states of mutilation in the vicinity. This, along with the noises, were considered to be evidence of a werewolf due to the fact that they only occurred on the last three full moons. Field agent accompanied a squad of ranger trainees to the site as a form of field training. The likelihood of a genuine AWE was considered low. Despite this evaluation, the team encountered a highly volatile altered item which they successfully retrieved. fight them. Although maybe I want to? Do I want to? Why would I want to? Whoa. Hi. was seeing me. Hmm. I'm going to be hyper vigilant about looking for TVs now anytime I'm in the maintenance sector. Ah, nothing up there. <laughs> oh boy. Wait, that's a ladder, isn't it? I could have used that. Oh, this is faster and more fun. <laughs> OK. 
table cart control. Dang, I can fit back there? That did it. Albany Supplement. Upon arrival, the squad broke into the warehouse and discovered boxes of undelivered merchandise abandoned by the previous owner of the warehouse. As they investigated the noise, something along the south side of the building caused it to collapse inward. Wooden crates and accelerated physical from rendered field agent and two of the trainees unconscious. The others escaped the warehouse before it collapsed entirely. In the rubble, they found AI-63, the origin of the attracting and repelling debris. They stood guard around the item until the moon set, at which point the altered effect ceased. They returned the item to the bureau without further incident. No fatalities occurred. The collapse of the warehouse was not witnessed by civilians and thus no no reinforming by the communications department was required. I don't know what that does, but I'm probably supposed to press it. Ah, it's going to get us across. I guess we're waiting for it to come from the other side to this side, and in the meantime... I can regenerate energy now. Look at this.
<laughs> Not the time for that. Ah, oh, that had such a mood to it. Slowly traveling through this bizarre nowhere place while that's playing. So dark. Something up ahead. Do you see it? Yeah. <laughs> That's them throwing water on the sauna, steaming up. Plastic tree supplement. The results are incredible, but more so the speed of discovery this allows us. Uh, AI-14 copies our speech, but after numerous tests, we've discovered that certain words are missing from its vocabulary. We began isolating these words, cross-referencing them with esoteric texts from the early days of the Bureau. We found that these words, when arranged in particular formations and spoken at varying speeds and cadences, elicit a reaction from altered materials. We tested the specific string of words, a formula, if you will, on the other altered items kept in the examination hall. Varying physical responses were recorded with each one with an 82% success rate. We've proven that words can tangibly affect these items. Specific applications must be explored possibly for containment or identification purposes. This will drastically change our approach moving forward. And to think, there are still more words to be found. There's something in here that I missed? It says there's something new. Research. Ah, oh, these cabin. Whoop. Ah, oh, these cabin. Oh, it's just the picture. Lomile lumps. Holiday humps. <laughs> Sauna is warm, the beer is cold, and the kosu is an ice. Kosu. Uh, I don't remember what that means. Kosu. Google Translate isn't working on that. Ah, I couldn't translate it because it's not really an official word. It's like a spoken language thing. It's, uh, kosu is short for kosken korva vina. Uh, it's the most, according to Wikipedia, it's the most common clear spirit drink in Finland produced by Altia in kosken korva distillery in Ilmajoki and bottled in Rajamäki. I think there might be something out there amongst the pillars. Sorry to ruin the mood, but what if? What if there's a TV in this nowhere land? Nah, I don't think there's anything amongst the pillars out there. Hey, girl. For a fin, holiday is holy. Ihan totta. Quite true. What's that noise? Trying to light a match or something? What is that? 
Did you see that? It was like a tree. Artie? Drawn on the pillar. <laughs> Did you miss me? Did you have this in your song? Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bark don't make a wound. You did good. Take my cassette player. You can borrow it. The song is a present from my friends to you. It will get you through the maze so you can do your job. Did that really just happen? Of course it did. He gave me his cassette player. It'll get me through the maze, huh? The janitor always has the keys. <laughs> the, way, the way Jesse said that was really cute. The janitor always has the keys. Three more points. Let's get some more levitation duration. It's fun to stay in the air. Do we actually have something to construct? Can we do spin? Oh, we can do spin now. Yeah, this is fascinating to me. I mean, it clearly looks like a tree and these are roots, right? It's very symmetrical. It's directly in the center of this pillar. Who or what drew it? And is it related to the plastic tree that we just read about? Is it on more than that pillar? Is it on all of them? They're also dark. out there. I'm gonna do it. What is this? Oh. <laughs> okay. No, Pasca. That means well shit. It definitely seems like something happened, right? Everything changing color, that... Couldn't have been nothing. I just need to go a different direction, I guess. I don't have many source points right now, so I don't mind trying again. I wonder what I should do. Go straight down and don't go forwards? Go forwards and then head back? I don't know. Let me just try to go down directly. Location didn't change. It didn't teleport me. It's the same place. Just everything looks. <laughs> and God, duh. that's so scary. It's like I'm just waiting for the jump scare, and you don't know when it's gonna come. Again, I don't really have much of significance to lose here. So, there's got to be something to that, right? Let's go around the perimeter of this place and see if we can spot anything out of place. I've decided to take another crack at the furnace. 
So, the person who told me that there were six said they're in the room and around the room. Sounds like not very far, but remember we did find one at the top of the NSC power plant, which is pretty far away. But I'm going to start from the closest place to the furnace and then move outward from there. And I already found one of the TVs. Just right back here in this little room. So this is our fourth one. There was no way I was going to find the remaining TVs on my own. I just, I looked, I looked, and I could not find them. So I looked it up in a guide. One is in here in the NSC coolant pumps, right? Like on this thing or floating above this thing next to the elevator. Ah, there it is, the final one. It's kind of obvious if you look at it from the right angle. As you come out of this place, at least to the furnace chamber, in the NSC power plant. It's right there. Final one. Ah, I don't have time for you. I'm curious what the mod that it gives you is, but I'm also curious if the furnace is going to talk. Didn't talk. Did give me a mod called Eternal Fire, which sounds amazing. I think it was a weapon mod? Yeah, ammo refund chance on hit. Oh. So, any rounds that make contact don't eat up your ammo at all. Oh, but it's exclusive to grip. Okay, that's... It's very, very, very good, but because it's only for grip, it feels pretty well balanced. I don't know if I feel weird using it, because I did cheat to get it. I did find four out of six of them on my own, which I feel pretty proud about, to be honest. I don't really use grip much anyway, so... I think it's fine. Like, I don't even plan to use grip right now. But if I do... Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we are going to head into the Ashtray Maze.